Jeffrey doesn't even think about becoming stronger, why would he? He levels up in video games instead of real life. In the virtual world, Jeffrey is a warrior, a mage, a monk, but in real life he's pathetic. <laughs> but in real life he's a fapper, a stoner, and a video, <laughs> and a video editor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tom. <laughs> That's all good, Hamza. It's all fun and games until I start hiding JPEGs of cocks in your videos to get you banned from YouTube. Younger Hamza started off pretty weak. He felt inferior to his peers who were stronger mentally and physically, but he started leveling up. Adonis. Adonis was raised to be a strong man. The world needs men like Adonis to lead us out of the hard times. And yet, Adonis looks around at the men around him. We need more strong men. Most guys are done out here. The rewards of life like money, muscle, women, they're up for the taking. With the majority of men just being so weak and crippled and, and doing nothing productive, there's no competition to get into the top 20, maybe even top 10% of men to be one of those guys. And you know what? It might be a rational self-confidence that I have. I have always known that I would be a strong man, a successful man. When I started off and I was a little bit younger in my teenage years, I was a little bitch, but that was only, I'll be honest, it was only because of video games. It was only because I was a little bitch in real life because I was strong in video games. Now that I've put that same level of competitiveness and discipline and drive and you know eagerness to level up like I used to in video games and I put that in real life, things are so different. Most men just aren't on my level. And this video, by the way, you might want to click off, but this video is literally just going to be me with my massive f***ing ego, my self-confidence just speaking. Now, if you feel intimidated by that, if you feel like repulsed by that, fair enough, this channel's probably not for you. Hopefully you could be one of the guys who sees a man talk like this with this level of confidence, with this level of like almost arrogance in himself and in his abilities and his work ethic to be like, I want some of that. Breathe on me, Hamza. Fucking breathe on me. Let me get some of that, like, self-confidence through osmosis, through, like, photosynthesis or something. I'm just saying big words. <laughs> and it's always when I work out on the gymnastics rings where I really have this mindset. Like, again, it's fucking arrogance, but it's like, I really have this arrogance. Like, I'm better than every man who walks past. Because I'm shirtless, I'm working out on these rings, everyone who walks past is looking at me. I've got rap music playing out loud, I'm like poorly rapping to it, but with aggression and I'm like, you know, hyping myself up and I'm like about to hit the rings and everything. And I always see the same thing when a couple's walking by. From the distance, you can always see that the woman notices me first and she stares up until it's almost like obvious that she's staring and they've gotten a bit closer. That's when she almost actively tries not to look at me, but I, like, I see her look at me, it's always three times, it's always three times that she'll kind of like turn her back towards me. When the guy notices that I'm working out shirtless and essentially I'm like competition or whatever it goes through his mind, I always see the guy and the couple essentially do a form of like mate guarding where like he'll do something like he'll pull his girlfriend in a bit more, he'll hold her hand. And it's weird because they genuinely, when this happens and it happens often, they genuinely seem like more in love when it's happening. Like, you know, they'll they'll proper get closer to each other. But interestingly, like I think that's like a fake. It's like a, it's like a fake, like look how secure and, and loving we are. When in actual fact, the guy's full of insecurity and potentially hopefully the woman is like full of lust and desire it's a very red pilling experience to go train shirtless outdoors if you've got the f body for it if you've got that personality for it because bro the sh i've seen these guys and probably the women they don't come across a man like me they don't come across a guy who's f like ran to this place no matter what the the weather is bro like i don't go when it's like sunny or something i'll go when it's flooding i'll go when it's raining when it's snowing i don't give a f Bro, I'm gonna go train outdoors. It's an incredibly hard style of training. If you're a guy who weight lifts, okay, congratulations. You're like, oh, red pill, you know, lift some weights. Nice one, bro. Get on the fucking rings, bro. Get it like, no matter, you bench two plates, bro. Congratulations. Get on the rings and you'll see yourself wobble. It's a hard style of training. You don't come across someone like that. I'm working out shirtless. I'm like rapping out loud. I'm like dancing just to myself and stuff. And people, they can think it's weird. Maybe I'm making someone feel like sort of sensitive, but I don't mean to be horrible and I don't mean to make someone feel insecure, but it really does pop into my mind. I think the reason why is because I still have a sense of like insecurity in my mind that I used to be similar to this. I used to be like a normal guy. I used to be a guy who's probably going to go home. He's going to go jack off. He's going to go play video games and eat Doritos. I used to be like that. Now I speak with so much arrogance and so much self confidence which a lot of people don't like that's it's kind of strange why a lot of guys don't like no it makes sense a lot of guys don't like this because it's insulting to those guys if you hear me speak with confidence if you are a little bitch that offends you if you're a guy who's still a little bitch but you're like trying not to be a bitch it's like it's so attractive to you because you want this you want to be able to speak about yourself like this and you'll know that generally a guy who speaks like this isn't at that end level i found that that's how it goes it's like you're a little bitch who's you know no, no confidence, low self-esteem. You don't feel good enough for like anything. You start making some sick progress. Your arrogance goes up, your self-confidence goes up. And then almost when you've made like so much progress, you've got so much results. That's actually when you go back 
to being humble and you're like, oh no, you know, don't, don't be confident guys, be humble, be, have humility. But it's like most men need to go through this. All athletes go through this. You have to get to that arrogance point of like a rational, delusional confidence if you want to achieve like some sickening like a feats. Because the majority of men will never achieve those type of feats. They'll never accomplish something like that. The most men who walk past me when I'm on the rings, they're overweight or they're like stick thin teenagers. Do you know the only masculine men, the only masculine men who walk past me are like 60 to 80 year old veterans and they're usually the only men who actually come in with so much f eye contact that even I'm like almost like looking away from him and he like he'll stop over and literally just look at me train and all of the rest of the guys like what's happened to men the majority of men like I, I probably sound like a f hater but the majority of men that walk past especially when I'm on the rings they look soft like they look like really unhappy with like forward neck posture slumped over mindless not even in a flow state not like enjoying themselves barely smiling and I never enjoy putting men down I truly am like a team player like I want to build everyone up with me but the thing is like a lot of guys just they're not on that level. They're not on the, the vibration, like the frequency to actually level themselves up. And it's sad to see, but you choose what you want out of this life. They chose to wake up late. They chose to dry hump their bed for the first nut of the day. They chose to straight away hop out of bed after like two hours of scrolling on fucking, uh, what, what were those apps called again? Instagram, like I had to take a second then, bro. <laughs> I was gonna say like two hours of scrolling on Netflix. Like you can tell it's been a while since I've been a fucking Jeffrey, bro. Two hours of scrolling on, on social media, they'll sit on their crusty computer chair, hopping on Discord with their video game friends, eating Doritos and fucking Mountain Dew. I choose to wake up early. I choose to hop in that fucking cold ass shower, bro. It's getting cold outside. Like we're, we're entering fucking like winter is coming. Relax, Game of Thrones, mother <laughs> Winter is coming. I'm still hopping in this fucking cold shower, bro. It's getting painful. I choose to go and eat a high testosterone breakfast, bro. Four boiled eggs every morning till the day I die, bro. I choose to meditate for 60 minutes. I don't do like pussy, like I wouldn't call it pussy, but like I don't do like low level meditations anymore. 60 minutes every morning, like straight. And that's the difference between strong and weak men. Strong men strive to experience the discomfort of delaying gratification. I don't need the marshmallow, bitch. Oh, but, but, but Hamza, it's, a, it's an experiment. Hamza, if you don't eat the marshmallow and then you'll get a second marshmallow in 15 minutes, well, f the second marshmallow. The most fun that weak men have today is going to the, the local pub to do the pub quiz with their friends from high school wearing a polo shirt that's too tight with their bulging lower stomach fat, smiling at each other like this. And I want to remind you that I've been a little bitch my entire life. I'm literally one year and four months into not being a little bitch. I started one year and four months ago. I'm 24 years old, but I was a little bitch up until I was about 23. It's been one year and four months since I've been like on self-improvement. This is how much like change you can go through. I'm just getting started. I'm going to be like a hard ass motherfucker in a few years. In 2024, I'm going to be a black belt in kickboxing. Next year, I'm going to be financially free when I'm 25 years old. By the end of next year, I'm going to release a novel that's going to be like the best sellers list like millions of young guys are going to read it and like really resonate with it and get help from it within two years i'm going to have like a world famous podcast like just under like joe rogan level because you see this irrational self-confidence of a strong man that i've just displayed in this video all of the weak guys all of the like the, the bitches they've clicked off the video it's just me and you all of the people who think that their self-confidence is a bad thing and aren't watching anymore because they, they got offended at what i've just said they get offended at the strong man's confidence but strong men create good times if you want to look like me go to the bill your 10 out of 10 dream body link in the description click on this video to learn more now do the hard work especially if you want to become a strong man